Hi, everyone. This is Angela Yvonne for Entertainment Fix, and I'm here with the amazing Chrissy Monroe. How are you doing, Chrissy? Wonderful. Now, we know you from Love & Hip Hop, but you're doing something so much more bigger than this. Tell us about your organization, Survive to Thrive Global. Okay, well, yes, most people do know me from being on Love & Hip Hop New York Season 5, but what a lot of people don't know is when I left the show, I got into a very, very horrible domestic violence situation where I almost lost my life. So um, I started a nonprofit foundation because of the platform that I um, was so blessed to have from being on reality television. And wow, it's been amazing. Um, it's been amazing. So with domestic violence affects a lot of homes, um, whether it's emotional, whether it's physical. Why? I know that you were a victim of domestic violence, but why did you decide to um, have your own organization instead of just, you know, volunteering or being part of one? Okay, um, when I was blessed enough to get out of the situation, I pressed charges and I got an order of protection, which I still currently have for five years. But the judge only gave him three months, which was ridiculous. Um, this mm -hmm. man almost killed me. I had medical reports, police reports. Um, I had everything. I had pictures, and that's all they gave him was three months. So it just angered me to the point where I knew if I didn't speak up, who's going to speak up for everybody? Because I know some people have it worse. Some people lose their lives, and something has to be done. Everybody's sweeping this topic under the rug. So who better than me to become a voice for the voiceless with the platform that I have? So you're taking your pain and making it powerful. Yes, yes, yes. So today we're here because you are taking your power and it's a toy drive and it's a clothing drive for another victim, um, Esther Menes. Mm -hmm. Tell me how did you guys meet and why did you, why did her story touch you so much? Well, actually, um, Debra Cardona, a good friend of mine, found her. Yes, love Debra. Yes, found her on Instagram and, um, Esther is just the epitome of a domestic survivor, de no, no, domestic violence survivor because of her just spirit is amazing. Um, in a nutshell, her story was she was at work and her ex came into her job and threw acid on her. Um, and she's lost, a, her, she's lost her eye. She's permanently disfigured and she has four children and she's in a very poor part of Dominican Republic and she really just needs our help. She wants to work, but no one will hire her. Um, and it's not her fault. So, yes, uh, we found her on Instagram. I, I love social media. It's amazing because you can connect with people from all over the world. It's the best thing ever. So what do you hope to accomplish with this drive? Um, is she the only story that you are following and you're um, assisting with as far as trying to get her help? Are you trying to get her to be able to come over here? or? Um, well, that that's a bridge we'll have to cross later on um, because someone's in office. I don't think it's going to even be be uh, an easy thing at this moment. But what we can do is meet her where she is at um and send her we sent her groceries last week today we're sending her clothes shoes things for her and her four children um that would be i mean a a, a dream come true to get her over here um but it, it will take steps it would get her travel documents things like that um that would be a process but it's something i mean anything's possible anything's possible but at the at the present time we're doing what we can for her to make her life easier and more comfortable um, and no, we, we help a lot of different people. We do credit repair through our foundation. Um, a lot of people are in the shelter system. They can't get out because their credit's been ruined from a domestic violence situation. There's such a thing as financial abuse. Um, tooth repair, we work with Steinway Dental in Queens where they get reimbursed through the New York State Crime Victims Fund to, to repair people's teeth. Some people have had their teeth knocked out. So we want to give people their smile back and the confidence to go on job interviews and things just to get your life back together after domestic violence. We're not a counseling service. We can't come pick you up from your house, but we are here when you're out and when you're ready to get it back together and better than before. So a lot of people are afraid whenever you're in a domestic violence um, situation, they don't know how to um, reach out to someone. Um, is this all something that they can do without um, exposing who they are, or is it something that they have to you know, make it public? No, absolutely. There's a lot of people that don't want to talk about it, and it's, it's a lot of fear involved. But there is the National Domestic Violence Hotline, 1-800-799-SAFE. You can use any name you want. It's completely anonymous. You, have nothing, you don't even have to use a name when you call. 24-7, completely discreet, anonymous, and confidential. And they can help you with whatever city you're in, things like that. So if they want to be part of your organization, because you are, like I said, taking your power and making it 
um, wide known that you were also a victim. And sometimes when someone is telling their story, it's easier to relate to someone who has been through the things that you've been through. If someone wanted to volunteer or just wanting to know more about your organization, how would they be able to get in touch with you or your assistant or someone who can get the ball rolling? Well, we have our website, www.survivetothriveglobal.org, which, which we're actually revamping. Somebody really tried to hack us. That's crazy. No, seriously. Anyway, long story. Um, or we're on Instagram at Survive to Thrive Global. We're on Facebook at Survive to Thrive Global. We're on Twitter at STT underscore global. Okay, so that was kind of deep. <laughs> that was kind of deep. So. Survive to Thrive Global. And it's survive to th www .survive to thrive global org on the web. So... I was saying it was kind of deep because I just want to lighten it up a little bit. Um, can we see you again on Reality Show? Oh, Not that one. I mean, maybe another one that might be a more of a suitable fit. I'm a little I'm getting a little up there in age, so. Yeah. I can't tell. Thank you. Ow. Yeah. Ow. 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 Yeah. So what does Chrissy Monroe do for fun other than help people? <laughs> A lot. I don't know if I can say it all on camera. <laughs> we're a, we're PG thirteen. I have a lot of adult fun. No, I love traveling. I love reading. I love. I have a food review page called Chrissy's Food Fantasy. Um, I just started a podcast with my bestie. It's called In the Closet. Yes. Show. Yes. Yes. With my friend. Where can we, where can we hear that? Um, it's well, we just started a YouTube channel and it's going to be on iTunes. But we're still figuring how to use the little microphone thing. And all. I know it's the worst. Um, I have a few projects, and I also work with a prominent plastic surgeon in Paramus, New Jersey, Dr. Aiden. His wife is actually the newest cast member of Real Housewives of New Jersey, so you can see more about our office and more about Dr. Aiden. He's fabulous, double board certified. Anybody needs that tummy tuck lipo, hit me up. Ew. Um, yes. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and, yeah, so for fun, mostly travel and dating my younger men. Yes, for the young man. Okay, so I have one more question for you. Um, and a lot of people don't like to think about politics and things, but in this in this day and age, you know who we have in office. What are your thoughts? Um, I don't really dig too deep into that. I'm surprised I even mentioned it earlier. It's just in the aspect of possibly bringing Esther over here, but I really don't comment on race religion or politics on camera at all because they believe me people are, can, can, can get fanatical and they just looking and lurking and waiting for you to say something to kind of attack you so I learned a long time ago that's one of the topics I don't touch but I appreciate you asking thank you so much for taking time out for entertainment fix you're the best you were my favorite on on love and hip-hop I just want to tell you that you no I'm dead that. serious I'm dead serious because no, 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 she wasn't, she wasn't my favorite. Oh, <laughs> Chrissy you. was my favorite. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking time out. Okay. I really appreciate thank it, you. and you're doing a great thing. Thank you.